Welcome back to another episode of Paint Society, the channel where the learning doesn't stop when the video ends. Today, in this episode, we're gonna be demoing and reviewing the 3M Performance Gun. We're gonna take it through primer, sealer, base coat, and clear coat. Now, for the job, we're gonna be using an Acura RDX. On the rear bumper here, we went ahead and took it off, and we did the body work with some Polyflex filler, which is a flexible filler, and got that all sanded down so it's ready now for primer. Now, on the front bumper cover, it's gonna be a replacement bumper cover, so all we're gonna be doing is getting a new bumper cover and sanding it down with a 400 grit and then using a soapy prep clean water to get it all cleaned up and get it ready for the booth. But first, let's go ahead and talk briefly about the 3M Performance gun. We're gonna talk and demonstrate, is it worth it? Now, there's been a lot of commercials and a lot of great advertising going into the physical gun itself, which makes it seem like it's the next best thing, but is it? We're gonna demonstrate and find out today. This is the second version that 3M puts out of this particular gun. It's the performance version. Now, the first version was the AccuSpray. I didn't use, but it didn't get great reviews. Now, this is a plastic gun with removable and replaceable tips. Now, it comes in 1.2 all the way up to 2.0. But for this primer, I'm going to be using a 1.4 tip. To spray some primer, and I'm going to show you one of the main reasons why I love this gun. Now to spray it, I'm going to have it around 20 PSI. And my fan is going to be just about all the way out with a little bit of a turn in. And I have my fluid set at wide open. So we're going to put our first coat on with about maybe 4 to 5 inches away from the panel. Third coat is all down and it went down really smooth and I prefer a 1.4 because this is not a really high surface or builder primer. Now any gun for the most part can spray primer but you want it to spray smooth and that's just what it did because the smoother the primer, the smoother the sand. I'm going to show you what I really like about it, one of the best features this gun has. Come over and we're going to clean it. So Mario and I are both going to clean our primer guns at the same time. We're going to have a little race. No, go ahead. You're gonna break yours down. Yep. So all you gotta do is take the cap off, give this a little bit of a squirt, and then take this. You can wipe it off or squirt it. And while Mario's starting to break down his full gun for primer, we're completely done and we're ready to go for our next job. All right, so Mario's still cleaning his gun. I'm gonna start uh, getting ready for my sun bath. I have a lot of things to do. How much longer is that gonna take you to uh, clean out? Uh, two minutes. Two more minutes, yeah. So this is the only way we can really do it. Every time we're done with the gun, we break it down completely and we clean it out. It's the only way to ensure that it's gonna spray well the next time. About an hour in the sun and this primer is ready to sand. Now with that 1.4, it's not going to be pouring on the material and we don't really need it to. This is a guide coat, right? So this guide coat is a dry one and this will get into all the crevices of the uh, primer itself. So I understand you really want to go cheap on your primer gun, but I said before, the smoother the primer, well, you only really have one step. I don't need to cut out any orange peel. I got 400 right here. Take a look. As you can see, it's got very, very minimal peel, very smooth, and this just makes life easier when it comes to spraying primer. Let's get the rest of this sanded down, let's head into the booth, and let's learn some more. Let's get back to the gun in a review. Here's my job. My job is to tell you, is this 3M performance gun worth $308? Now, here's what it comes with. It's gonna come with the gun itself, and it's gonna come with a few different tips. Now, the guys at 3M, they sent me this beautiful box of a whole bunch of different um, materials and things that I can use, a nice little card. It made me feel really warm and fuzzy, all right? They really go above and beyond to make sure that the advertising 
it is really really strong and if you look at this gun on the commercials or anything you've seen you would think it's the best thing ever so that's where i come in i come in and i tell you is it worth it all right so they did send over three different type uh, tip sizes 1.2 1 1.3 and 1.4 just a quick info on it i find that 1.2 is working the best here's the reason why uh, 1.2 is going to allow less fluid to come out giving the gun body and the air that's coming through the paint gun a better chance at atomizing the fluid. When you have a 1.4, well, what's happening is you have a lot more fluid coming through and, well, there's not enough air sometimes to break it up. That's why I like using a 1.4 for my primer because it is generally thicker. Your sealers and your base and clear will be around the 1.2 and a 1.3 range, or at least that's what I prefer. Now it comes with a little guide to tell you exactly what you should be around with fluid tips all the way up to 1.2. So what does it mean when you buy a gun like this? Well, you'll get the tips, and for the life of the gun, you will have to replace this. So that's something that you have to really consider. Now, a lot of guys say that you'll get about 20 to 30 uses before you'll actually have to replace the fluid tip, and I've been using it for a good month and I haven't replaced it one time yet. So let's go into the booth. Let me show you what I'm going to use it on. This is a Civic bumper that I have now it's getting a blend. I'll be able to just cover and blend into this area, re-clear the whole thing. Now on my silver, since I have body work everywhere, I'm going to seal it all up. Remember, the silver metallic is going to want to go right into any uh, stray sand scratches. So we want to make sure that we have a good basis and a brand new bumper. We don't want to put base coat right over that you want to seal it off first so we'll seal that and moving to the sealer i'm going to be using my 1.2 fluid tip uh, i find that just atomizes the sealer really well and there's a lot of guys that don't seal and then there's a lot of guys that do seal i'm finding myself to be someone that really likes to take the step and seal all the parts it just gives the base coat this perfect substrate and what a substrate is is a layer for the base coat to lay on it's a smooth substrate it covers your original part completely and remember that you know sealer is a lot cheaper than base coat so when we lay down our base coat right over this we know we can get out of it in maybe around one to two coats not to even mention that you know we have the extra protection now on this bumper cover i'm just going to be doing a small sealer blend i don't even have to put any sort of blender actually on it it's really smooth and that's pretty pretty cool and we have our parts all flashed off right here you can see our rear bumper cover and our front bumper cover are completely flashed and at this point we're ready to clean our paint gun out um and this is one of the main reasons why i love this gun is one of the best features of this gun is uh, from start to finish we have between 10 to 15 seconds worth of cleaning time and very very minimal um, you know material to clean out the paint gun it just makes things a lot more effective a lot quicker and easier um, when you have multiple jobs in the booth just like we do in this episode so moving along we'll get it all buttoned back up and we are ready to start looking at our color unfortunately i already have a spray out card and this vehicle has been painted a couple times but we found a good match a good match to the fenders and well to the quarter panels as well and it's a good idea to check your color around uh, 12 to 2 p.m uh direct sunlight base coat's all mixed up we're ready to go i want to show you the fan pattern okay so we have our test panel here about maybe five to six inches away. Okay, a decent fan pattern, really good, nice shape. I will tell you, that's not the biggest fan pattern I've ever seen. And I am kind of a fan of a big spray pattern. I'm, pattern. I'm used to that eye water, right? So the problem when you have a smaller um, spray pattern, and it's something I see on a lot of the cheaper made guns is you're gonna have a lot more passes, okay? A lot more passes mean there's more air uh, that's being, you know, thrown around the bumper. It takes a little bit longer. It's not a huge deal. It really, really isn't. I mean, that's about 75% overlap, okay? With a better gun, honestly, I could probably come one, 
two, three, instead of one, two, three, four. Again, not a big deal, just something I noticed. It's a little bit slower than most of your uh, guns around this same price range. And although slower might not be a big deal to you, when you have many parts in the booth, you don't wanna spend all day coating those parts. Now, this gun actually does spray silver metallic really well and for a disposable plastic fluid tip, that's kind of impressive. But, you know, that's not all there is to it. A very good paint system will go a long way. And one of the big reasons why we don't have too many issues with any of these guns that we see on the channel is because this is a top tier paint system. This is Sickens. And this system is probably one of the best I've ever sprayed. It has the best silvers, blends the easiest. I mean, even an amateur could pick up a gun and move with the hardest colors with pretty much having not much of any issue. So we talked about two coats previous to covering over our sealer, and that's just what we had here. This is one coat on our silver bumpers, and we already have about 75% coverage. And all we need to really do is allow this to flash for uh, maybe 10 minutes. And flash means it's going to dry and it's next for uh, it's ready for its next coat of uh, base coat. And that's what we're doing here. And a little bit fast forward speed. We're applying that second coat on and we'll allow this to dry while we go over to our pearl bumper cover. But one more time, we're going to go ahead and clean it out. You can see the efficiency here. And this is in real time. We just finished spraying our silver um, bumper covers. I need about maybe 10 to 15 seconds to get this thing back in the booth. And we're already on to our next uh, you know, project here. And we're just blending out the color. This is NH883P. It is Honda's newest color. I actually think that the color we have matches better than uh, what they have on the factory. Uh, this is the pearl coat too. We just did two coats of base. I only showed you one and then we did two coats of pearl and blended it in and uh, it just blended out no problem. Another good test for the gun. Seemed to handle it pretty efficiently and after everything has been flashed off uh, you can see it looks smooth. It looks right. When it looks right, it looks right. When it looks right, it also feels right and what the feeling should be is a nice smooth finish. Smooth finish and base means a smooth finish and clear. We're ready to spray the clear and I will tell you something with demoing and reviewing and using this gun, I will say that the 1.4 and the 1.3 does not atomize the clear coat like the 1.2 does. Now the 1.2 that I have in the gun, it actually breaks up the clear coat much finer. So I knew there was a problem and I had to go back and figure it out. Now, it's not the world's best clear coat gun it's probably not gonna be the best clear coat gun to do large panels, but it fits the small job pattern technique of spraying, all right? So a smaller bump or accessory piece, I think this gun is more fit for, and we're gonna hop in a booth and start the clear coating. And the 1.2 is really where it's at with clear coat. Now, I did do a video on this gun previously. I kind of walked into it. I didn't know too much about it, but now I've really had a lot of time to sit down, review, demo it before making this video. And I can tell you that sometimes, well, most of the time it's user error. Sometimes we want to blame the product, blame the tool, when really we just need to know how to use it properly. I can guarantee you that 3M will not release something that really wasn't tested first. And uh, after a good month of using this spray gun, I can find that, you know, there's different tips that just handle the product different. And remember, no matter what paint system you have, you're gonna have to find what works best for you. So 1.2 might not work as nice on a thicker high solids clear that you might be using. But for this particular clear coat and what I'm doing, it works just perfect and I'm not having any issues. Now, I'm showing you one coat uh, here in real time, but this is real time speed. I keep things moving, I never stop. When you stop, that's when you can get a run, okay? And as I get to the end, I'm not really untriggering the gun, I'm not letting off. I'm just barely, barely releasing the pressure, but I'm not completely letting off of the handle. I'm keeping things moving. That way I have my consistent, consistent pass 
all the coats are consistent. This is the second coat here. I allow about 10 minutes of flash time uh, between clear coat. And when you allow it to flash off, what's happening is the first coat is kind of tacking up. So then you can really lay that second coat on a little bit wetter. And with a 1.2, you're putting thin wet coats on. So you're gonna get a smoother finish like you see right here on the bumper cover. You can see it's got that nice smooth factory finish and you're never gonna have like a perfectly cut and buff look coming out of the paint gun. There's always gonna be a little bit of ripple and that ripple rep represents what it looks like when it comes out of the factory and that's just what we want. We want it to match the factory. That is our job as painters is to make it look like the rest of the car it's not to make it stand out so keep that in mind when you're spraying so where does that leave us with a 3m performance gun well you've seen many guns come across this channel and we can get a good finish for the most part out of any gun but what makes this different well first off this is a tier 2 gun according to my category of guns ranging from around 150 to 300 dollars a tier 3 would be higher and tier 1 lower so within that tier two, I would give it a seven and a half out of 10. Now, the only real reason why we have it a higher score around a seven and a half is because of its versatility. There's no other gun on the market that you can take the cap off or remove it and clean it out within 10 to 15 seconds and be on to your next coating. Now, does it spray amazing? No, is it the next best gun that atomizes your finishes better than a tier three gun? Absolutely not. I actually don't even recommend it for a beginner because it's not the easiest to spray with. It takes a little bit of time and well with a little bit of time I was able to manipulate it even better. But I still see this gun as the type of gun I would go for bumpers and maybe one or two panels but nothing larger than that due to its speed. Now who do I recommend this gun to? I recommend this gun to the professionals. You are the ones that are going to see how effective it is, okay? how to how easy it is to clean out and move on and have maybe two or three jobs in two different booths and keep the ball rolling. This is where the gun shines. It doesn't shine as far as how easy it is to spray, okay? So for my do-it-yourselfers, do you want one of these? Well, here's the only way it benefits you. A lot of you guys want one gun because there's a budget, right? You don't wanna buy two or three guns. This is the only gun I recommend that you can spray primer out of and then just change a tip and clean it out easy. I don't recommend having a regular um, uh, gun that you spray primer, base, sealer, and clear coat. I don't recommend that, but for this particular gun, due to the reason it's so easy to clean out, you can run all of your coatings out of one gun with a simple change of the tip size. So for do-it-yourselfers, if you want one gun, this can do it. Just remember, if you don't have a whole lot of experience, it's not the easiest to spray with and that's just my opinion. Now guys, if you want to support the channel because you learned something, head over to paintsocietystore.com, uh, check out the merch, and don't forget about our Instagram, paint.society, where you can get all the answers to your questions that you might have. In the meantime, guys, this is Brian from Paint Society reminding you, don't overthink it, it's just paint. Let's check it out.